in your Tinkercad, take a look at some of the buttons that you have on the side and on the top. Over here, these ones will change how you can look at your shape. Up here at this cube, and from the top, rotate it to the side. These ones up here let you duplicate it or copy it, and paste it, delete it, undo, redo. These buttons up here are point, important for multiple shapes. When you group them together, when you ungroup them, and over here you have an arrow that will allow you to drop down and take a look at other shapes that you can put in to make your keychain. All right, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to edit our grid. So we have it at inches here. And you also might want to, right now yours might be at one eighth of an inch. You might want to change that to one sixty sixty fourth of an inch. That will allow you to move your objects more precisely on your grid. Let's go ahead and select text over here. And you're going to drag over your name. When you drag over a letter, you might want to zoom in on it. And make sure you have it on a line so they're all on the same line and spaced out exactly how you want them. Once you think you have them the way that you want your letters to look, highlight all of them and go up here and hit group. This will group your letters together so you can move them around, you can make them longer, okay, change the size of it. Even this top white one will allow you to adjust the height. Okay, This black cone up top allows you to move your shapes up and down. Okay, Let's go ahead and drag over our shape now. We'll go up here to basic shapes. I'm going to drag over a cylinder, adjust my dimensions. Okay, Now I want to take my shape and increase its height so I can drag it over my main shape. I'm going to click on this, kind of zoom in on it. Okay, with my letters, I can keep them solid or I can make them whole. I'm going to click on whole and I'm going to highlight everything and hit group so I can see what it would look like as my final product. So you can see it's dipped in a little bit, it's kind of hollow there. Let's say I want it to be moved up a little bit. I can ungroup it, take my letters, move them up. Let's say if I want them like all the way through, I can take my cone, move them down. So you can see that they're kind of all the way through my shape. If I select everything, hit group up here. That, will, that still has my letters hollow, but now they're hollow all the way through. Let's say that you want to move this C up like a teeny tiny bit. You can ungroup your shapes, ungroup your letters, and you can move this up a tiny bit. That's why we try to adjust our letters at the beginning so I can group these back together. This is what my letters would look like if they were solid. Okay, They're kind of raised up a little bit. I can ungroup them. I group my letters back together. I can move these up or down if I wanted to. Or click on the white one at the top to make them lower. Just make sure that your, if you do want your letters solid, that they're not hanging below your shape. So you don't want them hanging below here. So this is what you would not want to do if you want your letters to be solid. So say I had them like this. Make them a little bit thicker actually to show you. So from the top, it looks fine. I have my letters a little bit raised up, which would be fine. But make sure you look at it at all angles because we wouldn't want them hanging below like that. Okay. I'm going to make group these together. Check my bottom to make sure Yep, they're not going through the bottom of the x-axis, so we're good there. OK, 
I now have to decide if you want to have your keychain hole here. I can drag over a cylinder, make it thinner. I can use my black cone up here to make sure it's going all the way through. Highlight everything together, group it. So that could be my keychain if I wanted to. I can also ungroup everything. Get rid of that cylinder. If I go over here to basic shapes, there are some rings at the bottom. I could drag these over if I wanted to. Adjust my height. I can also scooch this in a little bit if I wanted to. If you are adding a ring on the outside, you want to make sure that your ring can group this all together so you can see. You want to make sure that your ring isn't lifted above the x-axis like that because this part is not going to print correctly because it's not printing doesn't have layers to print from below it. So this wouldn't print correctly. It's what we call a cliff. So make sure that you don't have that with your ring. Make sure it starts from the x-axis of your platform. So I'm going to ungroup this and move my ring down. Go ahead up here, group everything together. And this would be my keychain.